Hey all you cool cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Tongarumpa V3 Killing Harmony. And, uh, I am not too sure where this trial is going, actually. <laughs> so, I'm just, let's, let's just get on with it and, and see if I can figure things out before the game flat out tells me. <laughs> and then the Monokuma and Cubs Theater segment began. But with all the Mono Cubs destroyed, this segment was no longer possible. And so, the curtain quickly fell. That's it? <laughs> the flashback light became the motive. Oh. Okay. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game, and the battle between hope and despair, would end. I mean, sure, if that were the case. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... You want to leave? Huh? That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete, simply because it's him. <laughs> Monkey totally gets me! That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow, and broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. What did you see? Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow, probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol, most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the Exosol I was in. I jumped out of the Exosol before he could, and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. I mean... He, he did it to... Like, partially because I think he enjoys messing with people. That's part of the thing. He clearly enjoys... You know, making people <laughs> get upset and stuff. He, he likes that. But he was also always like, even though when he was messing with us, he was oftentimes trying to antagonize us to take a direction. Um, by it, like reverse psychology, except he, he did it to the max. the mastermind it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows right he could have made it seem as if the late junko was secretly behind this killing game that way he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game yeah but i don't think he's the mastermind because of his suspicious actions anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind Especially with that message in the courtyard. Kokichi said it was a hint, but was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? I don't know if he actually did that. I... I have my doubts with that one, at least. Like, I, I don't know. As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What 
talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? I don't understand anything you're saying. But anyway, why are you starting a killing game when it should have ended? See, this is him being serious. This is definitely him being serious. Okay, this isn't a lie. That was his way of putting an end to it. He was he was going to be the ultimate villain for everyone and basically unite everyone into not doing anything. That's why she went to go she probably went and searched for an antidote. Kaito protected Kokichi? Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time. Why would she need it? She planned on killing him. I used Strike 9 poison to torture Kokichi for info, but I planned to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean! But that was my first mistake. Because of that... You what? I ended up killing Kaito. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. Oh. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. But Kokichi stole it from him. Sorry, but I can't die here, since I'm the mastermind of this killing game. Wait! There's only one antidote! Oh, you don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. D damn it! S stop I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Or maybe not. Because now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. I... I killed... Shut it! Screw uh, the class trial! Son of a... What the hell am I gonna let you have your way? Oh my god. Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't... have you kill anybody. What? Aww, Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse. Huh. Maki is gonna become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me! So don't you worry, Makiro. I'm not gonna die that easily. Oh my god. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. <laughs> You're still full of energy. Even like that. You really are... not boring. <sighs> is that... that bottle... Why is it... is that bottle with the lid? I don't remember. Is... is this just like... terrible... animation where they didn't... like, remove the lid at all and he pretended to drink it or... I don't understand. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. 
So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? Don't mind me. Run, Maki, roll. Just hurry up and run. Run and live. You gotta live. But I refuse to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. In the end, I couldn't. Okay, this is all the truth. That's where the marks on the control panel came from, huh? After that, I returned to the bathroom window once more. But I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. <sighs> That's when I made up my mind. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial in exchange for all of your lives. So that's what happened. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime? Was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. dare you make fun of him you call yourself a friend you enjoyed watching us suffer oh my god you fucking asshole Ooh, maki is so scary good thing i'm in this exosol but we we had an intermission but all of this seems right this all seems like the answer if we had the intermission like this What's gonna happen? Are we are we just gonna like jump to figuring out who the real mastermind is? Or something? Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys gonna vote for? You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. We don't have the whole truth. This case isn't over. There's more to this? Huh? Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. What? Yeah, okay, so look at the bottle. It has that lid on there. A hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. Part of Maki's testimony that doesn't add up. Kokichi drinking the antidote? No? Damn it! Okay. What doesn't add up? Kaito protecting Kokichi. Control panel being damaged. Maki being coming blackened? Ugh! What? Kaito protecting Kokichi? Really? The last one? The control panel being damaged? Oh, that's right! Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. But that doesn't make sense because yeah. there's an alarm system on the shutter. Oh, yeah! The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. Uh, unlikely? Nah, the security there isn't that sloppy. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. And why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. It's 
Right, there must be some kind of reason behind these all these oddities. Finding that reason will help us find the hidden truth. I don't... I don't know what we're doing here. I did it. Okay, whoa. Okay, where... Hanger's front shutter. It's protected by an electric barrier. If someone approaches it, the alarm will sound throughout the academy. The alarm can be disabled with the alarm remote. The control panel for the electric barrier is next to the shutter. It has marks on it. All those. Okay. I don't... I'm confused. Patches, electronic lock. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Did you really try to break the control panel? I'm not going to tell any more lies. It seemed like the alarm system itself is working properly, so what can we learn from that? I did attempt to enter the hangar, and I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you had approached the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Hold on, I think it might be the electro bomb. Shut Okay, yeah, what was it? That was a hard one to hit. There is a way to disable the alarm system. An electro bomb would take it down. But Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this morning. Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Huh? Why would I use an electro bomb? I had no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. I guess so. I can't come up with a reason why Kokichi would want to touch the alarm. We all know that the alarm system was neutralized. It had to be. In that case, then... I've got it! Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? The main objective of Kokichi using the electro bomb was... Disable the press's safety function? That's it! It was to deactivate the safety function on the press. Activate the safety function? The electro bomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. That's true, but why would he do that? There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. I'm right. It means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. All wrong? What aspect of this case runs contrary to the new evidence? Kaito's cause of death? That's it! Kaito's cause of death. Oh my god, I've been... I'm on a ride. I'm on a trip right now. I swore up and down that there's no way Kokichi could have done this. I was so certain it was going to be Kaito as the killer. I am so freaking wrong. What? If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Yes, the cause of death could now be hydraulic. This is it. Hydraulic press. 
Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. If that's the case, it means the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press, Kokichi. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. But that's just a possibility. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. No matter what. No matter what? That's not true! We can probably solve this mystery too! Right, Shuichi? Is it really possible to determine Kaito's actual cause of death? Was Kaito's cause of death the poison arrow or the hydraulic press? Is it possible to tell? It is not possible? Oh! I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. What did you say? You can't check the body. And you don't have any conclusive evidence. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But I know. Because I was actually involved. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim, but rather the unknowable culprit. No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition. Intuition. <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? Oh, God. But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off! It's voting time! Uh... so flustered. Flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Monokuma doesn't actually know. I was right. He doesn't know who did it. What's going on with Monokuma right now? Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? I don't think he knows. Uh, oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? You don't know, do you? Who the culprit is? Because he was 
He was under surveillance by the Exosols. Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either. Monokuma doesn't know. What does that tell us about this case? Wait, this case? Yes, that's it. So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. A murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? What's the point of that? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific... That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Perhaps there are hidden cameras strategically placed to avoid our detection. They wouldn't need cameras in in the uh, in that exosile bay, would they? I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. Kokichi probably used the electro bomb to scramble whatever that was. The electro bomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Which means. It wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling He's Monokuma. not, though. <laughs> Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the exercise... Yes. The exosols weren't protecting Monokuma. They were... Watching him? That's it! We were watching Monokuma. Watching him? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Oh, by that time, the exosals were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That reminds me. Before I stole an exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. You probably shocked Kokichi with your appearance. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So you share it instead. That way it'll be fair to all the participants. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so, to summarize this discussion... Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? Except there is a point. No. Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. What? Well, that's what I've been saying the entire time. Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! You definitely lied. <laughs> I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... all me, baby. He's a remnant of despair! How can we forget that? But 
that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Um, well, I guess. But is that really possible? Of course it's possible. Uh, Monokuma. I can't answer that without causing problems. Because I gotta run this trial fair and square. Even more reason to give us the answer. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? Yeah, tell us! Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward. Aren't you normally the forward one? I mean... I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. And what is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he's not the mastermind. was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. Then it was all Kokichi's lie? Obviously. Yeah, that is what that would mean. With the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lines, so everything I will say now will be the truth, okay? His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. But what about the exosols? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how'd he control them so easily? Some sort of Mew invention? He just Mew's remote control, yeah. right? Use remote control? So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, you didn't know? Obviously we didn't know. Mew not only invented the Electro Bomb and the Electro Hammer, she also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device. Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the Exosols and took them for a spin. Hey, isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? Fairness has nothing to do with it. I offered up that info purely out of spite. Spite towards you for trying to usurp the Mastermind's role and take over the game. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the Mastermind. Are we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? Yay! Now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating! I already... I think I've already figured He's it out. The mastermind. Who is? Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? Because this is Dongo Rumpa, and of course there's a mastermind. is not Kokichi. Who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko Inoshima, but that can't be it. She's dead. You never come into contact with her. So, who's done this? Who planned this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. This class trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. So, yeah. Get to talking! I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit! But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision-making to Monokuma. 
But you gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? But are you trying to get me to do something? You've been watching us solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. Huh? So let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you gotta use your brain too. This will be the final class trial. Me versus Monokuma. You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I can tell you. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind. True. And that's how I'll win. That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma. I don't... I don't know who the culprit is going to be. Okay. Well, here's here's what I know. Here, here's one thing that I... Here's, here's what I feel extremely strongly about. I think that even if, like, even if Kaito was dying from Maki's poison arrow, he probably would have done something, like, super crazy, and maybe he would have committed his own suicide just so that way Maki would live. I do think that he's that much of a hero that he would actually pull some stunt like that. So I, I want to say that 100% Maki is going to be clear of this. So now my thoughts are just boiling this down to, was this Kokichi or was this Kaito? If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner! I also do believe that if Kaito had begged Kokichi to, like, to, like, kill him, that Kokichi probably would have done it because even though Kokichi is a <laughs> annoying brat, I think that he would have actually heard out what Kaito had to say. You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. But since the outside world is a total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. And he's been doing that the entire time. Whenever we talk about, like... Like, uh... Remnant of Despair, or Junko Inoshima, or Hope and Despair, or whatever, he seems genuinely confused. If the students of Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner! Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others, for that matter! What? <laughs> it's just like a Remnant of Despair to try to assume control of the game! But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again! Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party! Who invited you? Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case! Well, we were going to do it anyway. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case! Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. <laughs> now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. <laughs> so another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. Monokuma file? I don't know. 
Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is. What piece of evidence needs to be analyzed again? This is it! The murder video? Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? Maybe he crushed Kaito with the hydraulic press, so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's true! I guess you're starting to fit in after all. You get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us the video, it must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Why am I helping Monokuma? Taking the video of the murder, but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? Uh... Ivy... The victim? Possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. That might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? Switched? Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? What? Where would he even get another body? There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. If there wasn't any other body, then we could guess the victim was Switch. <laughs> but too bad! Switching the victims was impossible! footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. So did he pause the recording? And Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. I don't... I don't get it. So they used another body from another murder trial in this? Does that mean, like, Kaito's around somewhere? Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? See? You don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Lucky's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? If Kaito is... alive or not? I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. 
Who would? I don't want that. You definitely did not kill him. All right, just okay. it's okay. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. It's going to be okay. Here we go. If you call her that again, yes, please. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> let's all talk it over together. Together. Don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Is that use like another body? Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure something out. How would they at what point would they have been able to grab the other body? Easy, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. However, if the victims were switched. Then that would mean the footage was altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? If we could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switched places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. Okichi made it. 100% suspicious. <laughs> a trick to that video. Yeah, I, I, we've seen this so many times. Oh my god, please stop. What could it be? What's suspicious about it? Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press... Yes, that's right! The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. But in the video... Stop. There's only one reason I can think of. Oh no, not one of these. I see it. The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the force stop button. Okay. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Hmm, actually, maybe I crushed it by accident. I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been caught on camera. While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? 
was recording as well. If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stop that, you could have swapped the bodies easily. I mean, I'm really glad that we're going to find out that Maki wasn't the killer. But the thing that I'm not sure is what was the point of, of all of this? Like... What was the point of exposing Monokuma? I see it. What was this supposed to do to prevent the culprit stopped the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press? Like the thing that we're verifying here is like Kokichi had a reason for doing all of this. Because I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing now. Th is this to, what, prove that Monokuma doesn't know what's, what's happening unless he's watching? I don't quite understand. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. That's what I've been saying this whole time! When did you ever say that? Not even once. So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? Uh, the same spot as... It's hard to... Oh, it's right here. There! video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, it would have to be near the switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, then that proves the trick was used. Um, so if the point of this was to fool Monokuma on who the victim is, that means that the victim can't be Kaito, which means it either has to be a reused body or Kokichi. The thing is, though, did Kokichi really have access to all those bodies? Because he's not the mastermind. So Kokichi has to be dead, and the person inside this Exosol has to be Kaito. that much in class trials. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the hype. How many times are we going to have to watch this? When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so we would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. You don't get to make that reference. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Or he was crushed by the press. 
he was swapped with a different body. So Kaito's still alive! Well, wait just a minute. What? But I just summed it up so nicely. Himiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? Yeah, this is... This is going to have to be... Kokichi must have the died. The bodies from the other cases. Kokichi's the mastermind, so he... Yeah, I figured that out just now, too. He's not the mastermind, so he can't get Wait, the bodies. The mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Yeah. Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well. I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. <laughs> that is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at that time. Also, everyone's already here. Unless someone's really good at <laughs> pretending to be someone else. They were the only ones present during the body swapping trick. Then the real victim was... The other person in the hangar. It wasn't any old body. It could only be... What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Obviously. I think I missed something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at the time. Which means that something had to be decided before. I have to pin that down. Can't let anything escape me this time. What word am I spelling? How were the bodies swapped if only two people were in the hangar? Okay, so victim, I guess? Victim helper, maybe? Oh, the victim helped. The victim helped. people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Which means they were working together. Huh? Working together? The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. They switched places while the press and the camera were stopped. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick, unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Cooperated? Is that even possible? It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. But to what end? Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. So, have you realized who done it yet? Culprit of the case. My detective work hasn't failed me. The culprit is inside the exocile. Only be them. 
Kaito. The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaito, which means... Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera at first. If the two of them switched while the press was stopped, then the culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi must be Kaito. So, the person inside the Exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? So the culprit for this case is... Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then... I'm the culprit. Huh? There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. Wait, you? But didn't you say... I saw it with my own eyes. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito! Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. I don't understand. Maki, are you trying to protect Kaito? That's what I was thinking, too. If he's the culprit, you're trying to help him get away? There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's... the truth. Ah, uh, I thought so. Maki is trying to protect Kaito. I understand how she feels, but if Kaito is the culprit, why did he agree to Kokichi's plan? I can't imagine that Kaito would do something so selfish. There must be a reason for it. I truly believe that. But I have to get to the bottom of this before I can uncover that truth. But Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you. But you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito! Oh, man. It doesn't matter what you say. Quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. I to believe I didn't kill him. What is it? I saw Kokichi the drink the antidote. Pretended to drink the antidote. It ends here. Yeah, he had the lid on that in the flashback. <laughs> Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended to drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this 
and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. More like he also saved Maki. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. Didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. <laughs> I mean, I didn't exactly think it went like this. I had some of the things right, but it wasn't the way I thought it was. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? N no, he wanted to win the killing game, but what did this actually provide us? Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die just to execute their plan? Why would he go that far? I'm guessing originally his original plan was that he wanted us to just all hate him and end the killing game and by pretending to be the mastermind. Once Maki came in and, you know, shot him with a poison arrow and he was like, great, now we're gonna have a murder again. What am I going to do about it? And that's when he came up with this crazy plan on the fly. And I guess whatever he's doing now was supposed to, one, I guess, get Maki off the hook because Kaito was going to commit a murder here. And two, I don't know why, to get Monokuma to slip up about something. Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. But too bad, Shuichi figured out the truth. Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I die. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap that the extras in this game get it right or not. I'm fine with being an extra. You shouldn't be fine with that. Uh, why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. Uh, but why? You are being so friendly with us. Himiko, don't be so easily tricked. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Can't function anymore? Kaito, I believe in you. Mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way, makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. 